Shut up and sit down. Hey, what's up gamers? Uh, so today I'm going to show you how to organize your PS1 files for emulation, uh, the emulation station on your Raspberry Pi 3. Uh, I'm going to start with a couple of downloads I have. I have Alien Trilogy and Castlevania. Um, I'll show you why I have two, two files there. So I'm just going to right click and you can see I'm in my downloads. I'm just going to right click and I'm going to click on folder and you are going to name this the name of whatever game you're going to be placing in there in this case it would be alien trilogy um, just for this video I'm going to show you something uh, why uh, why that's important but uh, just for argument's sake let's just call this uh, fart nugget or something like that okay so I'm going to pop open uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, the alien trilogy and this is a uh, compressed file. It could also be uh, WinZip or um, WinZip7. And I'm going to go ahead and extract this. Okay. So let's put this drag and drop in there. Open that up. And just hit extract here. As you can see, it's extracting all of the files into our new Fart Nugget folder. And we are all set. So, open this up. This, it still has all the stuff um, you need, like all the tracks and everything in there. You can delete it or you can um, archive it for later. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete that because I already have everything. But once you're done, you no longer need that compressed file in your folder. You just need these tracks in there. It's important to point out that you have all your bin files, but you also need your PS1 files to have the queue the .cue file in there. This is going to initiate the startup for that game. So it's important that whatever download you have has that Q file in there. Okay. So let's back out of there. And there's our fart nugget. Now Castlevania. We'll just name it Castle. Uh, you know, we'll go ahead and name it Castlevania. That's fine. This is Symphony of the Night. Um, normally, I would go ahead and include the Symphony of the Night in there as well, but let's go ahead and drag and drop that. Open up Castlevania and extract here. Some of these are going to take a little longer. Both of these files are around 500 megabytes. Some of the PS1 files in there are uh, are the ones you download are going to be around a gig also so that's something to keep in mind especially if you're using a 32 bit a 32 gig SD card in your Raspberry Pi so let me go ahead and delete this guy you can see that this one only had those two files and then again the CUE file the Q file in there so two different types but I I uncompressed them the same and I just created some new folders now. I'm gonna go ahead and this is um let's go ahead and hit control X. We're gonna move those to our ROMs folder. It keeps popping up. And I'm gonna go to my PSX file and I'm just gonna go ahead and paste those in there. Now I'm transferring these via my network and you can check out my other video on how to connect to your Raspberry Pi 3 uh, so you can transfer ROMs over your internet as opposed to uh, us using the USB but it'll work just the same so if you are using your USB you would just copy these over to your USB 
All right, gamers, so through the magic of television, this process is almost done now. You will notice that when you're transferring files over the internet that uh, it's going to take a little bit longer. So if you're transferring several PS1 files, since they are larger, it will take a little bit more time to transfer those over. But once they're there, um, they're ready to, to get played. So um, I also wanted to point out, if you are, for instance, if you were um, transferring, um, you know, the Castlevania, and there's two CDs, and you and your download says Castlevania Symphony Symphony of the Night CD one, and then CD two. You both you need to download both so you can play the full game, and you would just um, put uncompressed both files in the same folder. The emulation the emulator can tell which CD gets played first. So you can just put all your files in that same folder. Okay, so we have our Castlevania in there, and you can see all the file folders are in there. Castlevania, Symphony of the Night, all of those are transferred in there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the Raspberry Pi and take a look. Also, my Retro Pi. Raspberry Pi, uh, it needs to be turned on in order for you to transfer over the network. Alright, so I've restarted my emulation station so that the new ROMs can take effect. There is the Castlevania folder that we did earlier. If I hit A, there it is. And then there's the original one I had in there in the first place. And if I scroll down, there is the Fart Nugget folder. And as you can see, it pops up with the name but when I hit A the Alien Trilogy comes out and there's no other tracks in there or folders or the Q folder just that one Alright guys, there it goes. Um, so whatever files you have and you place them in that folder, uh, the Q file is going to initiate the startup and it's going to look like the menu I just showed you. So when you start a game in the PS1 emulator and you save your status, it will also be saved within that folder as well. Which is why it's a good idea to uh, organize your PS1 files uh, just, like, uh, just like in the menu I showed you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, uh, just comment down below. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching.